Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and of course we announced yesterday that uh, 21H1, or what is called officially the May 2021 update, is soon to arrive. Now don't go crazy, it's still not available for the general public. It's available in release preview, it's available if you download the image, uh, they have it now available on the Insider page for download, but it's not yet rolling out but it's soon to in the next days probably in the next week um a lot of you of course so the first question that i get from a lot of you is i don't see it i don't see it no you don't see it and you won't see it yet and not everybody's going to see it also um, there's a way that they actually send out these updates but those that will see it first if they have to see it is seekers and a lot of you have been asking me, what are seekers exactly? Seekers are simply people that go looking for it. That means people that will simply go into the settings, go into update and security, and they're going to click check for updates. That is going to trigger the 21H1. So if you manually do this when it starts rolling out, you have chances of seeing 21H1, new feature update for Windows 10, now available and of course it's an optional download so that means that you will see a download and install button that if you don't click it you won't have it yet but if you do click then you will have the download process start a lot of you've been asking me okay uh, do i absolutely have to go there from 20h2 i'm on 20h2 and i'm okay here you don't 20h2 if you are there you are okay for more than a year uh, before you actually have to think about moving on to something else. So typically the 20H2 version or the October 2020 update is going to arrive only in, uh, or expire, sorry, or end of support, as we call it, uh, only in uh, April or May of 2022. So you got about a year. Uh, before you will seriously need to think of moving on to something else, which was will be something else anyways, because we'll have the 21H2 this year, and there's going to be something called 22H1 next year. So, you know, we're going to be moved on to something else anyways, so there's going to be other stuff. So you don't have to. Uh, anybody in 20H2 can just stay there and, and wait. Those on version 2004, which is the first version of last year, you guys are going to have to start thinking about it in the next few months as the version that you have will expire this fall in, I believe, October or November. So you still have, you know, a few months before you have to think about it, but you will have to think about it within uh, the next few months that you'll have to move on. But you don't have to move on to necessarily, um, you know, uh, uh, 21H1, you can wait at the last minute and wait until possibly 21H2 will be there and move on to the next big update. Uh, or you can just move on to 21H1 and you'll be okay until the second half of 2022, which will give you, of course, 18 months from the moment you move on. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's a small update. Once again, a lot of people ask questions about how big these updates are because they have limited bandwidth. Uh, it's a few hundred megabytes. It's a small update. So um, if you move on from version 2004 or 21 H1, the only people that could see this be a very big update and a big download are those that are in 1909 still because that means you have to move on to the big feature update of version 2004 before you move on to the next versions. So that will be a bigger update for those on 1909. But only about 10, 11% of you are there for now. So it's coming up and eventually will show up. And as soon as the first seekers, um, you know, start seeing it in Windows updates, of course, I'll let you know. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.